So one additional aspect of sorting algorithms that we haven't discussed yet is this idea of stability. Uh, and stability is going to make a little more sense now that we start to talk about sorting objects based on uh, one or more fields. Because what stability means is that, um, and there are two types of sorts. We can say a sort is either stable or unstable. A stable sort will not uh, swap two items in the array that have equal values. Um, an unstable sort may. Now, you might be thinking, we've been doing a lot of sorting with integers. If I swap two integers in an array, how will you even notice? It's the same integer, right? Like, how do I know which, like, there were three twos in a row and I swapped two of them, and then how can you even tell? Let me show you why this is important. So, a lot of times, uh, when we're sorting things in real life, we actually are sorting objects and we're sorting them based on a field. And sometimes you can imagine like doing this with a spreadsheet, right? I might want, you know, a list of, you know, uh, like every person in the class first sorted by uh, age and then by name, right? And if age is an integer, I expect to have lots of ties in the age. Um, so how can I accomplish this, right? Now again, now the idea is I can, in each sort, I might be looking at a specific field rather than you know, just sorting uh, integers, right? Where if I swap two integers with the same value, I can't tell. But if I swap two people with the same age but different names, I can tell. And so here's the problem. So here's how I would typically do this. So it's kind of counterintuitive, right? I want them sorted by age, and then within each age group, I want them sorted by name. So it turns out, what's cool is, you actually sort by name first, okay? So I get an alphabetical list of everybody by name. And then I sort by age. And what that ends up doing is it, now, what's important here is that I use a stable sort. I can only do this if my sort is stable. Because the idea is that uh, I've ordered things by name, and now I go through and I'm going to order things by age, but a stable sort will preserve that original ordering for items that have the same age. And so what I'll end up with is for every age, like let's say it was like 17, 18, 19, 20, remember these are integers, within each age group, the students are still sorted by name. But that's only if I use a stable sort. An unstable sort will actually reorder stuff. Right, so it'll mess up the first sort. So essentially, um, the the way this way of doing things relies on the fact that the second sort doesn't swap values that are equal. Um, otherwise, it'll mess up the results from the first sort. If I use an unstable sort, uh, that that that'll happen. And so I can't use this approach to sort by multiple keys. Quick sort of the algorithms that we talked about is unstable, uh, and that's another feature of quick sort that is potentially uh, problematic, right? So again, sortability is really important when I start sorting objects, right? Because frequently I want to support, sort them not just based on one key, but based on two keys. And the sort of one way of doing this is to do this in two passes. If that second sort pass jumbles up the results from the first sort pass, um, then this approach won't work.